Hey. Welcome to Thunder Pump Golf. Mm. It's a ridiculous name, but I'll explain it later. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you my home simulator build in my backyard. So this is my first YouTube video. Bear with me, I'm sure it's not gonna be great. Uh, I've never edited, never really done any of that, but you know, we'll see. Um, so the reason I wanted to share it with you is because, this is it here. Every time I would research a golf shed, golf enclosure, for an external building, an outside building. It was just these ridiculous high-end builds that just w wasn't gonna happen. Um, I needed a high-end look, but a low-end budget. High-end look, but a low-end budget, and this is what I came up with. And I'll throw in some sweet drone footage now. So the building itself is 16 foot deep, 20 foot wide, 12 foot in the front, 10 foot in the back. It's a single pitch roof with a metal roof. That's not funny. And I built this over paint just because I thought it looked cool. And so as you walk in, got the French doors. Got the little concrete pad, pretty little flowers. So I'll give you a side view here. Boom. See, it's just in the backyard. Alright, so let's go inside, take a peek. Dun, dun. This is it. This is my simulator. Alright, so a quick breakdown. This is your impact screen. It is 16 foot wide by 9 foot tall. Got the short throw Optima projector. Uh, just put an accent wall in here, just thought it looked cool. Got a small 55 inch there, got my stats displayed right now from GS Pro. Go over this way. This is the desk. Had some extra scrap wood, so I built this standing desk. And here is the computer area. Here's your hitting surface. And of course I have it wired for surround sound, dimmable lights, two fans, for the hitting area you can turn off the lights, I have it on its own separate, go check out the screen with no lights on, looks Excellent. It's just 1080p, but for what I need it for, I just did not want to spend all the extra money for 4K. It just didn't seem worth it for me. As you come in closer, basically I just built the whole thing framed to the wall. Let's check it out. I'm going to show you how I made the enclosure for the screen. Pop this guy off here. Okay, bam. Basically guys, build something that I could attach three quarter EMT to. You gotta build it one foot from the wall. And so I did that on both sides and then basically just put a two by four across the ceiling to the studs and attached the EMT connector and EMT all around it. Attached to the EMT is just tarp clip with a small little bungee and I did a lot of them about every foot and a half all the way around so if you come down here 
You can see how I did the base. Two by four to the wall. So we reach back, you could tell how ugly that would be without it. So that screen is a raw screen from, I got it from One Stop Sim Shop, that's what it's called. And I bought it raw, it means it doesn't have any edging, which you get it a lot cheaper. If you have the edging, it's about twice as much. So this screen here, when I got it, was about $600. I think it's gone up in price since then. But that's the price of that. All the EMT, all the wood, that was about another $200. And if you look in the center, you're going to see this strip. See how I have an extra strip? Really, that's a screensaver. And my thought there is, I have this giant impact screen, but I'm only hitting this one really small spot. So this here is about $200, and that wears out. I could just replace that. I don't want to have to replace the screen, whole screen every time a little spot wears out. So. Just buy us a little screensaver and much easier to replace, much cheaper. Yes, you can notice it, but it's not. It, it doesn't affect your play or how it looks. Okay, so the foam padding around it is just, they're custom made. I will show you how I did it. Super easy. So we turn it around here. Yeah, it's not very pretty on the back side. So those are just one by threes wood that I just made a frame all the way across. I used a Craig jig and just attached all the corners. I bought three inch foam boom, on eBay. And then basically you get any fabric you want. Any fabric you want, fold it, staple it. I hung them super easy. I just bought some picture hangers. Just throw a screw where I wanted it, and that was it. It took some time, but really wasn't that expensive. I think I have total on that about 500. Ba -ba. Gives it a much cleaner look, all built in. The next thing, we're going to talk about is our hitting pad. The main thing that you would buy is what I, what I did was buy this. This is from Fiberbuilt. It's their grass series mat. It is quite thick. It's about two and a half inches thick. Actually, it allows your club to dig down to the ground. This one's best for joints. Uh, I can hit on this thing all day. I get tired, but my wrist, elbows will not hurt. And so, what I did, as opposed to buying this mat, whole thing from Fiber Belt, which is about two grand, I bought just the mat, which is 280, and I built this with several different materials. It's got two, well, three layers total. The base layer is that interlocking gem foam. You've seen that stuff everywhere. And then the second layer, I can't show you because I put a trim piece to block it, is three quarter inch MDF wood. Okay. So you just put those together, cut out the center, place that down. And then the stance mats I got on Amazon, these are Champ Key stance mats. They're four by five. That's why I built this the way it is, so I didn't have to cut these down. And these are about $90. Okay, for my launch monitor, we are using the Bushnell Launch Pro. It is inside of the shank tank, which I bought off Etsy. Uh, I haven't hit it, but I've had several people in here that have, so I thought that was well worth it. 
the launch monitor costs about three thousand dollars, so why not spend that two hundred dollars to protect it? Okay, so this one here, this is a cool little setup. I got a little video system. Live View Sports 2. And it connects to iPad, or I think this is a fire. And what happens is it will record your swing. Smash that one. Let's check this out. Plays it back in slow mo. There I am. Planting my J's, obviously. Oh my gosh, what a swing. Plays back slow mo. It's actually quite legit. I will do a separate video on my review on this. But it's actually pretty awesome. I'll take a couple swings, show you guys how it looks. Playing Payne's Valley 19th hole over there in Branson. Oh, that's gonna be all over. Got about 40,000 shots in the simulator. Not one hole in one. <laughs> Unbelievable. I can't tell you how much fun this space is. So that's my simulator. Um, I think, well, my channel is going to, my channel, my channel is mainly going to be sports, eh, no, I think I'm going to focus, mm. this channel is going to be a lot about golf fitness, I'm going to start putting up 20, 30 minute videos of certain programs that are designed for golfers, really for anybody. But so like and subscribe, comment, whatever. More videos to come this week, workout. Workout videos coming. Thanks for watching. Here's my dog. I know you're probably wondering what everything costs. I'm gonna break it down a little more at the end and give you the total for the building and for the actual simulator part of it. Thunder Pump Golf, out.